vampire here. We're talking about ancient times, ancient South America. A correspondent of mine in Sao Paulo tells me that it is known by certain people that in the 1900s, when Colonel Fawcett was delimiting the frontiers of Eastern Peru, Bolivia, and Brazil, he reached the country of the formidable Nambiquaras. These Indians are the subjects of jokes among other Indian tribes in Brazil by reason of the abnormal size of their viral organ. They are powerfully built and dark in hue. <laughs> their viral organ, how you hear that? They are powerfully built and dark in hue, dark complexion, and maybe descendants of the very ancient black aborigines of South America. They are definitely of Stone Age culture. You hear that? Can I get a pull up? I'm gonna go back. I said these Indians, what? Again, they are powerfully built in dark and hue. And they are the descendants of the very ancient black, so-called black aborigines, original people of South America. They are definitely of Stone Age culture. Ancient. Fawcett was told by a cacique of the Nambiquaras that a megalithic ancient city lay east of their country towards the headwaters of the Rio Xingu. This dead city was hemmed in a bay by a belt of very dense forests, beset with the fierce Suyas, a tribe of very savage Indians. The cacique gave to Fawcett, one is told, a pebble carved in intaglio with a figure of a sandaled man wearing a sort of ancient Roman toga. It was very ancient. Other stones were incised with letters like those found in A.D. 1745 by the old Bandeiristas who entered another dead Atlantean High Brazilian, Atlantean High Brazil, the legends of High Brazil from Ireland and the British Islands, considerably to the east of the Xingu country. These ruins of the Nambiquara Cacique are said to be in a plain encircled with range of blue mountains and with dense jungles and forests coming up to the massive walls. These are moats and massive paved stone caseways and streets. It is very reminiscent of a dead city described in my mysteries of ancient South America. There were also tales of monstrous animals in this region, some of dinosaur type wallowing in reedy lakes and others oddly like the King Kong ape, all right, King Kong of the latter Edgar Wallace fantasies, 10 or 12 feet high with human-like hands instead of opposed thumbs.